So last year I created a tool for myself and my fellow game developers out there which can be used to add online leaderboards into your games. Hundreds of leaderboards were created using my tool Leaderboard Creator for free. Yes, 100% for free. So you're probably wondering about what benefits I got out of making this tool. What led me to work on this project was my growing curiosity at the time for online networking and games. For me, it was always interesting to connect things with each other. So I found this project to be a great challenge for me at the time. It taught me a lot and it really paid off, both in terms of increasing my skills and helping me develop games faster. This year, I decided to come back to it once again. Why? For several reasons, actually. First of all, I got suggestions and questions from my users, which made me think of adding new quality of life features and doing some changes to the tool to overall simplify the process of making a leaderboard. Second, the way you had to set up the tool was not so straightforward. What do I mean by that? The tool used to generate code that you could copy into as a new script in your Unity project, but it did have some pre-requirements that were mentioned in the description of the page. It would have been ideal to create a Unity package which contained the necessary scripts to access a leaderboard and I did just that with this update. So what exactly did I end up changing this time? Well, pretty much everything from changing the UI layout of the tool to rewriting the whole backend logic in a different programming language. With this update, every time you create a leaderboard, its details get saved locally. To make sure that you copy and paste your public and secret keys somewhere safe, as the leaderboard details are cached into your browser. I also changed the way the keys of the leaderboards should be used. Before, you would use the public key to access the leaderboard and the secret key to upload a new high score to the leaderboard. Now, the public key is used for both getting the leaderboard and uploading a new entry to it. The secret key's main function now is backup. So if you switch to a different machine or delete your browser's history, you can add your leaderboards back by entering their secret key. This change in the behavior of the keys was done to prevent malicious editing of your leaderboards. Leaderboards in modern games are easily hacked, even in AAA games, because it all depends on the trust of the clients, the players. There is no real way of protecting a leaderboard other than by removing impossible scores and by verifying each score manually. This update also allows you to edit or remove entries from a leaderboard. Moreover, for each leaderboard, you can also enable a profanity filter, which will prevent from people writing bad words in their usernames. Additional fields have also been added into entries of leaderboards. For example, the date field shows you the last exact time an entry was modified. The optional extra field allows you to store an extra string of data into your entries. You can use this however you like depending on your game. You can store the time of each player, another score value, or you can use this as a way to verify the scores of players. But make sure the length of the string does not go over 100, otherwise it will get truncated and not all of your data for that extra string will be saved. For handling the backend, previously I used Flask, which is a Python framework for creating HTTP services. This time, I wrote the server-side scripting with Golang. The reason for this was because I wanted to put my Golang skills into practice, and it is a relatively modern, very performant programming language. Overall, I enhanced the tool as much as I could, and if you were a previous user of this tool, then you might be wondering about what will happen to leaderboards that were made in the original version of the tool. Not to worry, you don't have to update your games immediately, but all you have to do is open the new version of the tool, click Migrate Old Leaderboard, copy and paste your leaderboard's public key, and you will instead get a new leaderboard, but with your old leaderboard's entries. 
Then you can follow the steps on how to add your new leaderboard into your game through my next video, which will be the first thing in the description. I hope you enjoyed this update video and if you're planning to use this tool in your projects, go ahead and do so. Any mention in credits or a donation would be appreciated, but the tool is completely free to use. Thanks for watching.